Hi Cubbies! Welcome to Bear Hug number eight. Let's start with our theme song. Cubbies! We are a one of Cubbies. We're happy all day long. We know that Jesus loves us. That's why we sing this song. We hop because we're happy and we jump and shout for Do you remember the key verse? It went like this. 1 John 4, 10. God loved us and sent his son. Let's do it again. 1 John 4, 10. God loved us and sent his son. Boys and girls, we learned our motto. The cubby motto. Do you remember what it is? It goes like this. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Do you remember the A verse? A is for all have sinned. Romans 3, 23. Say it again with me. All have sinned. Romans 3, 23. Do you remember the C verse? Romans 5, 8. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Do it again. Romans 5, 8. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Cubby, where are you going? Oh, uh, I, 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 I'm going to go into a room, and um, it's it's in the back of the building on the uh, in on the farm, and I'll see you later. Now wait a minute, Cubby. I don't like how this sounds. What room are you going into? Um, the apple cider room. Oh, <gasps> the apple cider room. That's where they make the apple cider. Cubby, some of that equipment is very dangerous for little children and little bears. Didn't Timothy tell you not to go in there? Oh, yes, but I peeked inside the room and it didn't look dangerous. Boys and girls, do you think Cubby should go inside the apple cider room? Cubby, we don't think you should go inside the apple cider room. Timothy's dad told him not to go in there, and that means you can't go in there either. You should obey the rules. Plus, you might get hurt. Oh, I know, but apple cider sounds so delicious. Timothy said apple cider is more like apple juice, but you can taste the apples even more. You know how much I love apples. I'm sure I'll like apple cider even better. I just want a teeny tiny little taste. I'll be right back. Uh-oh, it's too bad Cubby didn't listen to us. What do you think will happen next? Don't worry, I'm sure Cubby will be safe and he's going to learn a very important lesson. Rules are important for us to obey. We might get in trouble or we might get hurt if we don't obey a rule. Do your parents or your leaders ever give you rules because they care about you? Like no running, share the toys, no hitting. And why do we sometimes break these rules? Because we want to do something else or we don't want to listen. God wants you to obey your parents and your leaders. He also wants you to obey him. In our lesson today, we're going to learn what happened when Adam and Eve broke one of God's rules. But first, let's start with some songs. God is so good. God is so good. God is 
so good, He's so good to me. God answers prayer. God answers prayer. God answers prayer. He's so good to me. He cares for me. He cares for me. He cares for me. He's so good to me. I love Him so. I love Him so. I love Him so. He's so good to me. I'll praise His name. I'll praise His name. I'll praise His name. He's so good to me. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. Oh yeah, so good to me. When we pray, we can tell God we are sorry for our sin. What is sin? Remember, sin is anything that you think, anything that you say, or anything you do that disobeys God. And we all sin. We all disobey God's word in the Bible. Let's pray and tell God we are sorry for sinning against him. Fold your hands. Dear God, we are sorry for when we sin. Sometimes we hit, sometimes we call names, sometimes we don't share, and sometimes we don't listen to our moms or our dads when they tell us things. We are sorry for our sins, and we thank you that you forgive us of our sins. In Jesus' name, amen. Today, we saw Cubby Bear breaking a rule. He wasn't supposed to go into the apple cider room alone, but he did anyway. Cubbies, have you ever broken a rule? And what happened? Do you remember Adam and Eve from the Bible? Adam and Eve lived in a beautiful garden of Eden. God put them in charge of taking care of the garden and all the animals, and everything was perfect there. They always felt happy. They were never scared or sick or sad, and they could talk to God every day. God gave Adam only one rule, and this rule was for Eve, too. Do you remember what it was? That's right. God said Adam and Eve could eat the fruit from the tree of life and any other tree in the garden, but they could not eat the fruit from the tree in the middle of the garden, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. If they did, they would die. And that was the truth, because God's word is truth. Can you say that again? God's word is truth. Say it one more time. God's word is truth. 
Now today, we're going to be looking in the book of Genesis again. And we're going to be looking in Genesis chapter 3. One day, a serpent came to talk to Eve. Now the Bible doesn't tell us what that serpent looked like. But the Bible does say that the serpent was the sneakiest of all the creatures. He pretended to be nice, but he was really Satan, God's enemy in disguise. The serpent asked Eve a question. Did God really say you can't eat from any tree in the garden? Oh, we may eat from the tree, said Eve, but God told us not to eat from the tree in the middle of the garden or even touch it. If we do, we will die. You won't die, the serpent lied. If you eat this fruit, you will be wise like God. Wise like God? Eve wanted to be wise, and the fruit looked delicious. Eve decided to believe the serpent's lie instead of God's truth. She reached up and she picked a piece of fruit and she took a bite. She gave some of the fruit to Adam who was with her and he ate it too. Oh no! Right away, they felt different. They wanted to cover their faces. They wanted to cover their bodies because they didn't want to be seen. Cubbies, this is the first sin in God's perfect garden. Remember, a sin is anything we think, anything we say, or anything we do that displeases God. Adam and Eve sinned. Cubbies, you and I have sinned too. We have all sinned against God. In our Bibles, in the book of Psalm, in chapter 51, in verse 4, it says, Against you, God, have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. Against you, God, have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. Let's say that one more time. Psalm 51, verse 4. Against you, God, have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. Some of us might be saying the short version. Against you, God, have I sinned. But some of us might learn the rest of it. And done what is evil in your sight. Adam and Eve knew they had disobeyed God. When they heard God walking in the garden later, they ran and they hid behind the trees because now they were afraid to talk to God. Cubbies, I wonder what's going to happen next. What do you think? Will Adam and Eve get in trouble? Will they die because they ate the fruit? Will God still love them? Remember, there's our C verse. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. We'll find out next week if God will still love Adam and Eve. Psalm 51, 4 Against you have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. Against you have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. Psalm 51 4. Psalm 51 4. Against you have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. Against you have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. Against you have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. Against you have I 
to work in your handbook. Don't forget to put your stickers in there for your hard work. You can also use the fruit cards again to play the game from last week.